Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be explaining how you can utilize the process bar as part of Dynamics 365 to manage your sales pipeline and get some greater visibility of where you're at with your deals. So as you can see we've got a lead record here and this is our process bar that we're working with along the top. Now for the purpose of this video we've got a very simple four-step process, qualify, develop, propose, close, um, but if this process didn't work for you perhaps yours is more complex or maybe more simple uh, that's absolutely fine. We can make these processes two stages. We can make them 15 stages. That's not uh, difficult, nor is it as important as what you can do at each of one of those stages. So if I click on this qualify stage here, you'll see that there are a number of actions that drop down for us to complete as part of this qualification stage. Now, this is great if there are a number of tasks that need to be completed before you're happy for a lead to move on to the next stage or an opportunity to move on to the next stage. Uh, perhaps there's a document that needs to be signed, a date that needs to be booked in the diary, something like that, which uh, enables us to be happy to move this lead or, or individual record onto the next stage of our process. Now, if we manage that process correctly, you'll see that we've got a number of different padlocks on these future stages. Now, that means we are not able to move this lead or record onto the next stage until those tasks have been completed. This is a really great way of making sure your day to day users have a good idea of what needs to be completed before that lead can move on to the next stage. But it also means you get some really great analytics on what you're doing at each individual stage of the process and when we get to a point of qualifying this lead into an opportunity and we start to input our details as to estimated close dates estimated revenue we can use that information as part of each of these individual stages to see perhaps on a dashboard like this where we've got our sales pipeline what amount of revenue is being held at each of our stages now again this gives us great visibility of what's going on within the business as a whole, but individually, in terms of those users of the system, they can really see what we need to be doing in order to move this uh, lead onto the next stage of our process. Now, it's also important to note uh, that you don't have to stick to one single process across the business. If you have a number of different sales pipelines that you wanted to manage, a number of different processes that you wanted to keep your eye on or keep visibility of, uh, we can set up and create a lot of different processes for you and it would just be a case of toggling between those relevant for the individual record that you're on. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions at all when it comes to managing your sales pipeline or utilizing the process bar to manage that process, do get in contact with us and we'd be more than happy to discuss this further with you and give you some more information on how to do so.